Hey there, so today I'm going to show you a super simple way to make maggots that you can put on the inside of wounds. Once I've created them, I'll show you a couple of ways that you can incorporate them into makeups. Hopefully get something from this and enjoy. So what you'll need to create this makeup is some skin safe silicon or nose and scar wax. It's completely your choice. If you do use nose and scar wax, you'll need something to stick it down like spirit gum. You'll need your fake blood. You'll also need some petroleum jelly or something similar to smooth the wax out. You'll need the Skin Illustrator palette or something similar, or if you don't have those, you can use cream-based makeup. You'll need a mixture of sculpting tools. I've got my regular sculpting tools here. You'll also need a mixture of brushes, so I've got some fine pointed tip ones and something slightly broader as well. You'll need a mixture of sponges just to add some texture back into the wound. You'll need the most important ingredient here, which is some modeling wax. If you don't have modeling wax, you can use a beeswax candle or a white candle or something similar to that. And just for added realness, I've got a couple of wound fillers here. So I've got the makeup brand Pus Wound Filler. I've also got High Gloss Sheen, which I'm going to use at the very end to make the wound look shiny. And that's it. So what we want to do to start is grab a piece of the modeling wax or if you're using a regular beeswax candle or white candle just take a chunk of it and then break off some small pieces and what you want is something about the size of a match head or just a little bit larger than that and then you want to start rolling these out so so something about the size I guess of a grain of rice a bit of variety in size actually adds to the realism so what I want to do is I want to create a whole heap of these so I'm going to start rolling um, about say 10 of these out. You can just leave these as they are now and actually use them inside of wounds but what I normally do is like I like to go in and add a, just a little bit of detail in there so I'll, I'll go in and color these but one thing you can do to add to the realism is if you've got sort of just a regular house paintbrush I guess just lay it flat and to be able to create a couple of ridges in the body I guess I normally place one of these down just on the brush and kind of roll it back and forth just lightly so when we go back in and paint it later on there'll be a couple of sort of horizontal lines running through the body and the paint will kind of fall into those naturally and highlight that texture and that indentation a bit more. Add a couple of bends in them as well. So if you just roll one around the outside of the brush like this, that adds to the realism as well. So what I'll do now is I'll get the Skin Illustrator paints and I'll show you how to color these guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and just add some alcohol to my palette here. And I only wanna wash over these very, very lightly with a sort of dark, I guess, earthy brown color. You can line all these up, I guess, at the end here and just sort of wash over them lightly. You only want a little bit of that color on there. And you can see those little ridges that I put in before when I was rolling them over the top of the paintbrush. They're just very pale, but what they do is they add a little bit of a kind of stripe across the body with which um, maggots normally have. And then once you're sort of happy with the color, what I do is I go in with something darker, either a black or a very dark brown color. And just put a little speck of black on the head of the maggot. that's them completed there. If you wanted to make it easier when you're creating the wound later on, you can actually take a couple of these, maybe two or three of them, and cut them in half. That way when you place them inside the wound, it actually looks like they're coming out from underneath the skin. 
So I'll put these aside now and I will show you how to make bot fly larvae. Creating the bot fly larvae is almost exactly the same process again as the maggots, except this time you'll need a little bit more modeling wax. So I've got a piece here that's about, say, the size of a corn kernel, I guess. So I've got two pieces here. And what you want to do is just go through the same process again and roll these out. So once you're relatively happy with the size and shape, what I do is I just grab the end that I'm going to stick the head on and sort of tap it flat, I guess. And then to create the ridging around the outside, what I do is I get a couple of tongue depressors like this and I just tie them together at one end. I've got a rubber band here. But if you can find any sort of material like corduroy or something like that, or maybe the side of a book or something, I get them and I roll them along this. And this creates sort of a similar thing to the maggots, I guess, where you're putting ridges back into the body again. What I normally do now is just go in and grab a little bit more wax, just a tiny little ball of it, about the size that you used to create the maggots before. So about the size of a match head, I guess. And I normally stick that at the end to kind of, I guess, simulate or mimic the head of the bot fly. And the next step now is to go in and color these. Similarly to the maggots as before, all I've done is ended up skewering one of them at the end of my sculpting tool here. I'm going to go in and just add kind of a yellow wash over the top of these guys. So that yellow has now dried and the only thing I would do now is just go back in with a little bit of black, not too much, and just add some kind of subtle spotting along the body. You could even go in between these crevices as well and just highlight some of the detail that you sculpted in as well just to add a little bit of kind of separation in there between the head and the body i guess i'm now happy with that so i'll go ahead and paint the other two so here is the completed collection of botfly larvae and maggots i've added a little bit of glycerin some fake blood and some of the pus in there as well just to kind of add to the grossness what i'll do next is i'll show you how to incorporate these guys into a makeup thanks for watching uh...